Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Energize Your Online Business podcast. Hello, ladies. Hello. 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 So as always, I am joined by my fabulous co-host, Kate Sitars. Hello, Kate. Hello, hello. Hello. Uh, and today we have the pleasure of being joined by one of our, by first of all, an, an amazing business owner, but also uh, one of our star circuit sales system students, Lisa Marker Robbins. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Nikki. So happy to be here. We are so excited to have you. Um, just as a little bit of a preface, you have been, uh, as I was just saying before we started recording, you have been just so much fun to work with in the program. Um, such you offer, you ask great questions, but you also share such great insight on the coaching calls and and the groups. So it's really nice to connect with you. Uh, I was going to say one on one, but kind of in a small group setting. Yeah. So, uh, so thank you for being here. You're welcome. Um, Lisa, uh, I guess the best place to, to start is just to, to tell us about yourself and, and your business. So for over 30 years, so, and I will not go all the way back for 30 years, I have worked in very as, various aspects of supporting college-bound teens and their parents. I once was a teen of college or the parent of college bound teens and they need a lot of support along the way as well. It's a scary stage. You're getting ready to launch your kids after graduation, trying to figure out what comes next. So way back in the early 90s, I'll age myself. I was a classroom teacher for eight years, but since then I've been an entrepreneur and business owner with companies that support families on this journey. Um, so really a, an independent educational consultant for people who want a little extra help. And so through that, my first company um, did more of just like the academic support in the college counseling. And with that, we have helped families like build the right college list, apply to college, know where you want to go, applications, essays, things like that. So that's kind of the overarching umbrella of what we like to do to support families. And I I love that age and stage. And I know a lot of people go, oh my gosh, teenagers. I love them. That's wonderful. I do, it's uh, clearly it's been a while, but at the same time, it's I I have a very strong memory of, and I'm sure a lot of people do of how overwhelming it is to be at that stage and trying to figure out what the the next step of your entire life should be. So what a wonderful service to provide. I love it. Thank you. Know, you. Yeah. And so how in the past, how have you gone about selling your program? So the origin of the program, my course that I currently have and have had since 2020 was actually one-on-one -on -one coaching. And I know probably that's not unique to the people inside the circle with us. Uh, all the way back in 2008, I was working to, with families on like, what are the right colleges to apply to? You know, what meets your budget and all of the things that you need, geographical constraints, you know, Nikki, you snows a lot where you are. Somebody might not want that in a college, right? So we're, we're figuring out all the things as we go along. And what we ended up, my families were experiencing was, Sometimes when they got out of college or high school and they're in college, their students' time got extended because they're switching their major so many times. Mm -hmm. And as a mom of three, you know, I went into parenting and, and saving for college early thinking three kids, four years in college. There's my, my math, right? I'm not a math person, but that math I can do. Uh, and so then all of a sudden, a fifth year of college is really expensive. And if you have more than one child, you know, you could be looking at an additional $75,000 for three kids to stay in an extra year or even $100,000. So the cost was real. And I thought we've got to help students do a better time on the front end of identifying the major in the future career because, you know, we're going to go to college for four years, but we're all going to work for 40 plus years. So let's focus on the end. Let's like keep our eye on the target. So I set out in 2008 to figure out how to solve that problem for families so that they had better outcomes financially. And I mean, and no kid wants to stay in college any longer than they have to. <laughs> for sure. My youngest is a senior and in, going into her senior year of college. So I did this one on one. I, I, I was able to develop and hone a program, a step by step process. We have a three pillar framework. 
And it was going great. And then you would think that, okay, I land in Forbes as an expert interviewee for an article on three steps to increase the ROI on your college investment. And when they interviewed me, I ended up being their for the work that I type of work that I do ended up being their first step. So that first step was begin with the end in mind. Get it. So that helps you get in and out in four years. That helps you get the right college. If you identify the right college major in the future career before you even apply to college. Well, all of a sudden I was not coaching just locally to my greater Cincinnati area. I had this nat. This national reach was fantastic, but there was one of me. I couldn't scale it. I really, it's the favorite part of everything that I've ever done is this college major and career piece. And all of a sudden we're bumping up against time and I need to see my family and my husband, my kids in the evenings. I don't want to work 24 seven. Teenagers are in school till the middle of the afternoon. So the work had to be done in the evenings. And I'm like, I need to reach more people because we're helping people and I got to be able to live my life and I've got to make this available when families want to do it. So that was kind of the genesis of getting to an online course, which started in 2020. Mm -hmm. So that was like the course genesis. And then I started with live launching. And how'd that go? Tell us about that. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Well, so... I, I first of all want to say I, I'm grateful to mentors that I had and courses that I had before this to, I always credit them with like teaching me how to create a really good online course. And it was in the live launch model. So I, I piloted my course in the fall of 2020. And then in 2021, we live launched. I went through four live launches. I learned a lot and, and frankly, Not only the pain points, but I things that made my course better, things that helped me refine it. So I was thrilled with what I the lessons I was learning. But all of a sudden, time became an issue again. So there were two, there were time issues for the families I was serving. And if anybody recently had a teenager or they're in this, they're gonna get this. And I was having a time issue. My worst time issue was when I was live launching, I would do, you know, three live webinars. Um, and I'm on the Eastern time zone as you are, Nikki, and, you know, 730 at my time is only 430 on the Pacific time. And I would feel for those families. And I don't, uh, would also go like, I don't have the energy to start a webinar at 930 Eastern time. So I did throw in some like Saturday morning, you know, opportunities, but I just, it was hard to meet all the time zone needs because now I was serving, like we've had families from Canada and Mexico in the course as well. And so that was one issue. The worst was for me, I was in the middle of a live launch. I'm going into my third webinar on one of my live launches and I get cellulitis in my arm an infection. And I'm like, not feeling great. It's spreading up my arm. I realize I need to get to the hospital and I have a webinar that night and I'm panicked. So I get to the hospital, to the emergency room as early as possible. You know, you wait, you wait, you wait. Finally get back. I'm getting IV antibiotics, IV steroids, and I'm still like, I'm going to hustle and I'm going to make it to this 730 webinar and I'm panicked and I'm coming up with my backup plan. And so all the energy and the exhaustion and I was sick, you know, and I'm doing all this also during COVID. And then every time I live launch, I was like, well, what if I get COVID and I can't do it? So the time issue for me was that's not how I want to live. You know, we're empty nesters now. I, I hustled many years. I still hustle. I work hard. I mean, Nikki, you've seen me work and you know my work ethic and my work style and I need a balance. So that was like, this isn't good. But then the problem for my families was you're if I'm only live launching twice and this happened when I finally this past February went like this is not working. I was live launching in February. And believe me, we're doing well. Like we made nice profits every time. Every launch was, you know, five figures and great. And we, it was so successful. I moved that product over into its own LLC. But what happened in February was I had a bunch of parents say like, my kid's in the middle of basketball season. We can't do it right now. 
My kid's going to be available to do it over the summer. We can't do this. They have heavy AP coursework and exam, and it's too much. I can't put my kid through this right now. And I was like, if I'm called to serve in this way, and I already know, I already had proof of concept many times over that I'm having a positive impact, I'm helping people, then I have to be make it available when it works for the families, not when it works for me. And I was only thinking about the course. I wasn't even thinking, Nikki, what you teach us about like making your webinar where they come they, your light bulb video that you call it, like not time bound. So they have the freedom. I hadn't even thought about that, but I just knew I had a problem. So I set out in March to figure out how to go evergreen. And there's not a lot out there to teach you how to do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Did you, how far did you go down the, the evergreen, the evergreen path? <laughs> The evergreen rabbit. I know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, as I mentioned, you know, I've I've been in other courses and and had other mentors. And and what I noticed was what they offered, while it was robust as far as step by step on creating a course, what they offered for Evergreen was like 30 minutes of advice. And I'm like, Systems and frameworks are my friend. Frankly, even if you don't think that about yourself, everybody, systems and frameworks are everybody's friend, step by step. So when I'm like, all I could find was people giving like 30 minutes of how to do evergreen. And I'm like, but where's the sense of urgency? Like I knew, because that's what live, live launching is, right? We have to have a sense of urgency for people to respond. And I was like, okay, you just told me I need a sense of urgency on live launching. And then you're giving me 30 minutes of advice on evergreen and there's no certain sense of urgency. And I know already that conversion rates on live or on evergreen is going to be much lower than a live launch, which actually has not been my experience, but it is typical of the industry. So I did not start to build anything out. I knew I was coming up dry. I'm listening to puck. I'm Googling. So I, as I Google away, we know how, you know, the algorithm works. Suddenly, Nikki, you're in my Facebook stream. <laughs> Facebook ads work. I use them too. They're they're great. And I'm like, well, what is this? And I made the mistake of like, I got into your funnel at the beginning of a week where I had to go to Nashville for work for a week. Mm-hmm. And I'm in a business coaching intensive with a group that I belong to down there. And I'm an executive business coach as well. That's another job hat that I wear. And so I was down there for that for the week. And my funnel with you is going to go off on Friday. And I have to find time to watch your video in pieces. I did not do the whole thing at once. Mm-hmm. So I'm watching it in pieces, which I'm like, so that was resonating with me. Busy families and teenagers also probably can only watch my webinar in pieces at the time that works for them. Mm-hmm. So I piecemealed watching your uh, video throughout the week. And now all of a sudden, I'm like this opportunity to invest and knowing how much more it was going to cost me if I waited. I really, I was trying to vet you a little bit and I, I had scarcity of time once again. And I'm like, okay, Lisa, like, you know, you have to do evergreen. Like you just had this experience in February and you've checked out all the things and this seems to be the only thing that kind of brings together the, the urgency meets your client's needs, meets your needs. And so I, I purchased while on a business trip and I'm like, I'll get to this later. And I purchased it. That's fantastic. That's great. Well, and I'm I'm glad to hear that the the experience that you had in terms of consuming our marketing materials uh, made sense to you because that's how, to your point, that's how so many people have to have to consume the market because we all have lives, right? Our lives are busier than ever. And when we try to shoehorn our potential clients or potential customers into our timelines, it it ends up penalizing them for having lives. And also speaking of building out your circuit, I know that you had, uh, life gets in the way, just like we were saying, and I know you had an original plan for how you were going to build it out, but things kind of, and and how you're going to release it to the world, uh, but things got a little crazy in, earlier in the summer. 
What happened sure there? Did. Mm-hmm. Uh, this, I think this is the perfect example of like, first of all, had I been live launching when what happened happened to me, it, it actually, I would have had to not launch. So that's the first thing. I would have just had to scrap it. It wasn't like, I mean, the time I had cellulitis, I ran back. I did actually pull off that webinar somehow. But what happened this summer, I would have had to scrap my launch had the had it happened while I was live launching. So I enroll in March. I have this aggressive timeline, which we could talk about timelines and 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 the how it works with the circuit and all that later. But I wanted to turn my circuit on in June. Families have more time in June. Their teenagers have less demands. And I had a wait list. So we get to late June and I'm like, okay, this is awesome. We're going to test it first with our wait list. And our, our, my email list is about 4,000 people. My wait list was only about 130. I had, cause once I knew I was going to Evergreen, I really was not pushing my wait list at all, but there were these 130 people. I'm like, well, no better way to test the tech than to turn it on to your wait list only. Right. So I sent, I didn't put everybody automatically through it, but I just, I turned it on and said, here's an opportunity of a free training. For those of you who have been interested in my course and waiting for it to launch again, I have an exciting announcement. You know, um, it's now not live launched. And, and I made some other changes too, which we can talk about later. So I turned it on and we did have a tech glitch that I discovered in the first few days, but it didn't stop anything. I was thankful for the experiment. So I turn it on and I, I literally, I get sales right away. And I'm like, Oh, it's working. And then I have to get an MRI on my shoulder. And they're like, you are having major shoulder surgery. I had, and anybody who's had this, you know, it's painful. I'm still sitting here with my right arm in my lap as we're recording. So I had to have two rotator cuffs repaired. And I actually had my had my bicep detached, cleaned up and reattached, not to get too gross. And I'm still... You know, we're four weeks out. I'm not allowed to really activate my bicep muscle quite yet. I got in about another week or so. And I was like, oh, my whole summer just went sideways. My shoulder and my surgery took my summer sideways in a way I could not have predicted. And I, I had to hit pause on many things. And I was over overly optimistic on how quickly I would get back to work and how much energy I would have. And my I, I said to everybody, this was uh, training for a type A to become a type B. So I was in type B personality training. It hasn't stuck, but I did my best. And I really, what happened was I watched my circuit continue to make money and the my wait list converted at 12%. That's amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. And now, and they're, they're a warm audience. So we'll see. And we're actually turning on our Facebook ads this coming week, but I was able to listen to my body. I, I took about 10 days off work. And then when I came back, I really only had the energy between doing physical therapy and just being exhausted from trying to recover from major surgery to work three to four hours some days. This Four weeks later is my first week that I'm working full days again. And as I had the luxury of listening to my body, doing my PT, doing all the things, and I watched sales come in and there was like no better feeling. And I thought this is what was missing when I had cellulitis or every time I was doing a live launch during COVID, I was like, oh gosh, what if I can't get COVID? I'm not leaving my house for two weeks before my live launch because I might get COVID and not be able to do it. And I'm like, this is what I was seeking and I didn't know it. And so 12% conversion rate on the wait list so far. We've had sales every single week. They've slowed a little bit um, since, you know, we've, I really have done nothing for a month. And so next week we're going to turn on Facebook ads. And in September, we're going to put our list through the circuit. So, but we've got proof of concept. Yeah, that's, that's, Fantastic. Congratulations. And I, I, it's so important for us all, especially in the online business space to, to hear your story because I don't know that it's ever been really overtly said, but I think there's this feeling of, mm, you have to choose your business 
or your health. You have to choose your business or your family. You you can't do both at the same time. And that's just it that's that's not realistic for most human beings. And it also shouldn't be the way that it has to we didn't get into business so that we could ignore our bodies, ignore our health, ignore our families or ignore whatever else is going on in our lives. Um, so I, I think that's your story is a really great way of, of underlining and also proving that it doesn't have to be that way. Yeah. I think too, like I could have put the surgery off maybe a little bit, but you know what guys, life happens. And at some point we're going to have something happen where you can't ignore it. You know what you just said, Nikki, like we're not, we don't want to live life ignoring one side. And that's a lot, that's a lot of what I do in my executive coaching with small business owners is how do you have the double win, right? How do you win at work and win at home? And it is possible. You don't have to ignore it, but something's going to happen for all of us at some point, if it hasn't already, where it cannot be ignored. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It can't be ignored. And sometimes there'll be these things that we don't want to ignore. I know so many business owners who are so used to just pushing, pushing, pushing all the way through until you find you either you hit a wall or you maybe the step before that you go, oh, I actually need to take some time off. I need to take a vacation if I want to keep get this business going. But taking a vacation should not require that your business stops. It shouldn't, again, if you shouldn't have to choose between actually making money in your business and helping the people that you help with your, your product, your service, all that kind of thing. And and again, taking care of yourself and or just having fun. We shouldn't have to choose between I'll be a successful business owner or I can actually enjoy my life. Yeah. Well, I think too, what you just said about even just having fun, it doesn't have to be about, you know, I had, okay, the medical thing happened. But part of why I'm with with great intention, I'm thinking about like, we're really at a next chapter. The youngest is 20. I have twins that are turning 22 next week. Congratulations. Thank you. 22. 22. 22. And we have older kids as well. And so our nest is empty, but like all five of our kids live local to us. So we want to, I need freedom in the evenings now in a way that when I had teenagers and younger kids at home, like we were busy and I would, I would be able to meet with my clients at different times and you know, you're more homebound and you don't have as much freedom. But my husband and I are at a stage of life where not only do we want to travel, but I just want to eat dinner with my husband or go out or run down to see one of our kids. This week, we've spent evenings with two of our adult children, 22, or I'm sorry, 32 and 25 years old. They still like to hang out with us sometimes. And um, I want to have the freedom to do that. So it actually not only is about the the emergencies that happen, but it's about creating a life where this next chapter, this empty nest chapter is one where we can really enjoy it as a couple and as a family. And how much less stressful too the whole time, like a live launch itself is so stressful, but then as you talk about, you know, COVID and leading up to it, but then you have this low lying anxiety for weeks leading up to it of weeks. I literally would not. Yeah. I literally would not leave my house. I would be like, I can't travel for two weeks before a live launch because it was COVID. I mean, I probably wouldn't feel that way now, but there would be a little bit of it. I mean, the flu, whatever you just, it's like knowing something can happen. Yeah. It's just, I feel like there's how stressful or how much nicer, I guess, and how much more freeing to not have any, any of that of like, okay, anything could go South, but it's still going to, I'm still going to be making money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So now you said now as a, a type A person, which believe me, I relate to, <laughs> um, and having a, an aggressive timeline, um, how did you go about, uh, building out your circuit, putting it together? Sure. So as I already said, you know, we were, our live launches were successful and we actually had some high schools come to us to say, Hey, we want your program. So we kind of accidentally stumbled into a B2B model supporting high schools and homeschool co-ops and groups like that. So I've been very blessed and very grateful that we were already making money on this. 
So that allowed me to have an aggressive timeline. So we've got students in the, in the circuit group. You know, we've got our private Facebook group and everybody's kind of at a different place. But my, my strategy was I really wanted this turned on sometime in June. So I, I buy it in March on the business trip. I ignore it for, we would have to look back. 10 days to two weeks. And then I'm like, okay, what is this thing about? And then I got in there and it was the step-by-step framework that I was really hoping for. It was that systems are your friend. I'm just going to take you through it. Just do as I teach. I love that. And I'm like, okay, we're going to be able to meet this June deadline. So I create my June deadline. We were about a week past where I originally intended, but I thought the only way I can do this, because I really have three businesses, my original business that I don't spend a ton of time over there, but this business and my executive coaching business, I'm like, how am I going to get that? So I need people to surround me. And I had the budget to be able to do so because I was already, I had just live launched it so I could take some of that revenue and pay. So, you know, Nikki, you've got certified copywriters in the group that understand your circuit in a way that would have taken me a lot more time to understand. And I am a decent copywriter, but they are copywriters professionally and they know how to do it. So I hired one of your sort of, I guess they're certified if I'm saying mm-hmm. it wrong. Mm-hmm. Let me know. No, perfect. Our cert- One of your certified circuit sales system copywriters, Stuart, And he has been a dream to work with. He understands the circuit. He understands what needs to go into each email. So I was very um, thankful and appreciative that he could come alongside and help me write my script for my webinar to help me write email sales copy or look at what I had in there already. Because I had already written a ton of copy and I've repurposed a lot of what I've done from my previous live launches with small tweaks. So that saved time and I had Stuart to help me. And then I hired a, a graphic designer that I've used in the past and she made my slides. So she and Stuart and I kind of worked together over, uh, Danielle's her name, over a period of months where it was a teamwork collaboration and we got to the finish line and Stuart warned me at the beginning. He's like, this is so aggressive. I don't even know that we can do this. And like, let's aim for it. And if it doesn't happen, it's totally fine. And it was totally fine. So, but I also see others who maybe they don't have, you know, they're still proving their course They're They don't maybe have the budget to hire everybody. And so that works too. And they're being very successful. I see many success stories inside our group of people who DIY the whole thing by following your framework is just going to take longer. And so that's what one thing that I would say to people who are considering this. First of all, don't consider it, just do it. But how you do it might look a little different depending on your budget and the amount of time you had and things like that. So I built it out through June and we were aggressive and it worked. Mm-hmm. That's terrific. Yes. So I know you've hinted at um, some of the things that are coming up and what's next for your business, but do you mind sharing a little bit more kind of plans as you launch to the list and, and the full list and start running ads and what else is happening? Yeah, absolutely. So I, as I'm anxious now, I'm, I'm back to type A. So I'm anxious to get started uh, because, you know, this is my first week back with enough energy to work a full day. And I'm like, okay, let's let's have at it. So um, Stuart has continued to help me with copy and all the things, which has been fantastic. We've continued to work together. So now that I'm recovered, we will turn on Facebook ads next week. And I've had a lot of success with Facebook ads to my live launch before And I have a Facebook ads manager. So we've, we literally, before we jumped on to record today, we finalized things and she's getting it all set up. Um, so we've got those starting. We're going to let everybody get through Labor Day. I feel like August is, August feels like December, doesn't it? It's crazy. And if you're a family with kids heading back into school in some parts of the country, they're heading back, you know, early (laughs) August, right? Others and, right at Labor Day week. So I'm like, okay, I'm getting, I'm giving all the families. It's out there. People can buy it. And we've had people buying it, but we're not going to really push to our list until 
we get to September. I want families to get past Labor Day. I remember what this stage was like. I don't want to put fam- add more stress. So um, we also, I would say we added in our full price sequence. So after families go through the fast action, one of the enhancements, as Nikki calls them, um, is we do a six pay option when we're offering the full price. Interestingly, and I got really excited. I posted in the Facebook group when I really expected nobody to buy at the full price. I I thought, oh, everybody's going to buy at the fast action of those that do. But we've had two sales recently on the fast action and they opted in for the six pay option, which we don't give them in the fast action. There is no six pay option. Yeah. We've got a uh, a down sell. We've got two down sell ideas, and we're going to impl- we w- we will implement both, but we're trying to decide which one to do first. And we're going to do a down sell probably a few weeks after the fa- full first full price sequence goes out. So we're collaborating on that right now behind the scenes. Excited! That'll probably be September before we um, turn that on. This is early August right now. So we've got that coming. Um, and I think, you know, I like live and showing up and getting to know the families. I do. In my course, they get, well, it certainly is a DIY. And it's set up that you can get the course done in six weeks, but you also have a year to do it if you want to do it that way. The reality is graduation's coming. College application deadlines are coming. November 1st is a very popular one. So occasionally we get somebody who's like, I got to figure out my college major in the next, you know, six weeks or two months because I've got to hit submit on these college applications. I have to write essays about why am I choosing the major that I'm choosing. And you've got families that come in with a sophomore and they can have a little bit more ease and flow. But I pop in once a month. We do a launch live Q&A is what we call it. Much like we do, Nikki, in, in your course, which Those are so helpful. And we give people the recordings to those, just like you do, Nikki, which are important. But I am going to do, I thought, you know, we've got this calendar workshop that I used to do as, um, it's just like a part of my pre-launch runway when I was live launching. It's got really valuable information. And I think, you know, I do have a podcast, so people get to know me there. But having a live webinar, I'm going to still do those occasionally. But guess what? I get to do them when I want to do them and when it makes sense. And mm-hmm. so I'm going to schedule one of those for September I, after we get over Labor Day. You yeah. know, it's a new opportunity. So lots of um, enhancement ideas. And I'm excited about that. So That's cool. great. Yeah, I'm you're- so curious how many more families you're going to be able to impact with yeah. this model. For, I, I'd, I'd be curious if how many in a year typically and then how many more in a year that you can now right. serve. Yeah. So when we right now when we're sending out the um the live monthly Q&A there's over 300 families on that list. You know, and many of those families have multiple students. Um so that ripple effect and then we we have another school that just joined us. So it's really I here's what I think ladies I'm like when I was live launching, there was so much energy going into it. And I would have these ideas as an entrepreneur and a business owner where I'm like, oh, if we could only do this, if I only had more time, we could do this. We could reach more people. We could help more people because that's been my calling. Nobody ever became a high school teacher to, you know, I, I didn't mean to be an entrepreneur. I did it because I wanted to help people. And I'm still a teacher at heart and I'm still supporting the same audience that I have for over 30 years. Um, but I do have all these business and entrepreneurial ideas. And now I feel like the circuit allows me time to work on ideas like that. Because when I was live launching, you're always planning for the next live launch. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Lisa, this has been just amazing. And personally, it's been so much fun to, to watch your, your, I hate saying the word journey, but it sounds like reality show, but it's been, it's been so exciting to, to watch your journey. It's been such a pleasure to work with you in the group and on our, our, 
our calls. Um, so I'm I'm thrilled that things are going so well for you, and I'm so excited for for what the future uh, will hold for you and your business as well. Um, before I forget, though, if someone is listening to this and they're also thinking. Uh, Lisa's amazing. This is great. But I also need help with my teenager and getting them ready for college. Or I have a friend who, where can people find you? Well, let's just send them to that wonderful on-demand free video that Nikki, you inspired me to create. And it really helps flip the script on how families do their college-bound journey by keeping the end in mind and teaching them by not doing that where they could be getting their teen into trouble, extending their time in college, missing opportunities. And that URL is flourishcoachingco.com forward slash video. So we'll keep it really simple. flourishcoachingco.com forward slash video. Love it. And we will uh, put that link in the show notes if someone's, you know, driving and don't want to write it down there. Um, but yeah, please don't. <laughs> yeah. Please keep driving. Yes. Talk keep about driving. emergencies. Be safe. Yeah. Yes. yes. Be safe, everyone. Um, but yes, we'll have that that link because it's it's clearly a very important program and to already be helping hundreds and hundreds of people. I'm so excited to see as your business expands into the thousands. Then. We're going to have to check well, back in in September let when me you say, flip it on. Mm-hmm. You know, when we, when we calculate the one-on-ones that we did starting back at about 2010, we've already touched almost 4,000 teens' lives. That's how many have used either our one-on-one program or taken through the school. The 300 plus is just who are active in the course right now, but we're, mm-hmm. we're at 4,000 and I hope to double that quickly. Yeah. And I have no, no doubt, doubt that you will. Yeah. So uh, I take that back, forget thousands into the tens of thousands. Uh, and you absolutely, I was going to say you deserve it, but uh, I think that's that's very clear. And also the, the impact that you bring to the world um, is wonderful. So Lisa, thank you so much for joining us. This is always uh, a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and with that, we will catch you all in another episode. Bye, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Do you want to learn how to sell and scale your offer on autopilot every single day without the chaos of live launching or the low conversions of Evergreen? Who doesn't, right? Get our free on-demand video training at circuitsalesystem.com slash free. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to make sure you never miss a video. We'll catch you next time.